notch display, a very low price tag, and a sturdy design, it's no surprise why the Samsung Galaxy A10e is such an attractive phone to so many buyers who are looking for something without spending upwards of $1,000. This has been in US markets for about four years now, so I'm gonna give my full review and whether you should still buy it now. Because even though the looks are good, specs can always tell you another thing. I like this design a lot. There's a lot of really good things about this. First of all, even though it is plastic, it feels really good in the hand, which is something that you don't usually find on these types of phones, especially for this price. In addition, we also have USB-C, which is somewhat rare in some cheap phones. Some others use micro USB, so it is nice to see that we have USB-C. We have our camera bump on the back. It's really not uh, that big of a camera bump, which is kind of a nice thing if you just want to lay it flat on a table. There's also no creaks in this either, which is a really nice thing. Something that I wish some other Android phones that are around this price would not have because this back is great. The front is made of glass and is the only thing made of glass. The plastic wraps around to the back of the phone, so it's plastic on the sides and the back but then also on the front, it's glass. Overall, I really like this design. I don't think Samsung could have done it better and I have no complaints with it. For the display, we have a 720p HD display and it's only 5.83 inches, which is actually really small for a phone that was released about five years ago, but especially for a phone now. Phones nowadays generally are something like 6.7 inches or something like that, but this is a very small phone. And overall, I really like that the phone is generally smaller in terms of the display with still pretty thin bezels. In terms of the brightness of the display, I will say it is pretty bright. If you go into sunlight, um, you will not be able to see it too well. But what I will say is that as long as you're in some sort of shadows or if it's later in the day, then you'll be fine and definitely indoors. The thing is about this is that it is a, a PLS LCD display. So that basically means that, um, that it isn't OLED and that means that it really can't get as bright and also the blacks aren't as black and it's not, I would say as colorful, it looks a bit more washed out. Overall, the display for this price is actually pretty great. And also, I mean, if you're finding this for uh, the price that I'm going to mention at the end of this video, then it will definitely be worth it in terms of the display. So now we're going to talk about the performance and the benchmarks of this phone. So we got a Exynos 7884 with two gigabytes of RAM and also uh, 32 gigabytes of storage on this model. So the first thing that I think about when I hear those specs is first of all, the storage. Generally, storage uh, is a major issue because when you only have 32 gigabytes of storage, not only can you not really install any games, you can't take as many photos as you'd like. And also when you get close to filling up that storage, it will also slow down the performance. And you're also not really getting 32 gigabytes of storage. You're more getting about 25 because some of it is taken by, up by the just the operating system itself. So anyways, the two gigabytes of RAM is also a major issue because that's really not a lot, even for a budget phone. So when you're scrolling around the UI, looking through your apps, it'll do okay. But for instance, let's just say we wanted to open up something like the uh, YouTube app. You can definitely tell it's taking a little bit. I mean, it's taking way longer than most phones. It's still loading. And finally, it loaded. But yeah, overall, the performance of the A10e is definitely one of the weakest points. And honestly, even for this cheap of a phone, it is pretty terrible performance. All right, now time to talk about this camera. We have an eight megapixel camera on the back and a five on the front. So I'm gonna be showing you some photos and then I'm gonna tell you my thoughts.
know, even though I expected the cameras to not be great because of that 8 megapixel camera, honestly, they're not bad. They're pretty good with detail considering that it's 8 megapixels again. And also, the colors are pretty good as well. And also, the contrast is pretty good and the dynamic range is great for something that's such a low megapixel count. I was so surprised that this phone could do so well even though it was only 8 megapixels. I guess it's just because of Samsung software. And honestly, I am pretty impressed. Actually, in a way, it's somewhat better than most of the 13 or 20 megapixel cameras that are on these budget phones. This is really not bad. So overall, what is my final verdict of this phone? So it really depends on the price. In my opinion, if you can find this for 10 or $20, this is a great deal, and you can. There are plenty of uh, sites like eBay and Mercari and Facebook Marketplace where you can find this for 10 or 20 bucks easily. However, it might be locked to a carrier and it might not be your carrier. Generally, if you want to unlocked or carry unlocked, um, then it will most likely be somewhere around 30 to $40, at which point there will be some other options. However, it's still a pretty solid option. What I'll also say is that if you really care about gaming, you really shouldn't buy this phone because like I said, one of the weakest parts of this um, smartphone right here is the performance. Um, if you're really into the camera and stuff like that, I will actually say it's definitely good for that. Um, but for things such as yeah, gaming and performance and things like that, if you care a lot about that, then you should look for other phones. But yeah, that is my final verdict. I think you should buy it if it's for a pretty low cost. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit different from some of my other videos. Um, it's definitely a bit, you know, of a different style, um, but I kind of want to do something a bit different. If you guys like this, then please let me know um, in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe. We've been doing amazing. In the past 28 days, I think we've gotten 32 subscribers, which is insane. But um, we're actually, we just, we passed like only a couple of days ago, 800 subscribers. and. We're already getting to 820, I think, or something like that. I think it's somewhere around there. But um, yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.